Hello students, Market Segmentation, Lesson 1. In today's class, we discuss about market segmentation, levels of market segmentation, process and basis for market segmentation, criteria for successful market segmentation, basis for segmenting consumer markets. Segmentation is the process in which groups of individuals or organizations play an important role in determining the marketing strategy is identified. Through segmentation, different markets are classified into smaller and similar sub-markets. The main purpose of identifying groups of customers with similar requirements is to serve them effectively and attain profitability. Let us discuss the important terms which we come across in this unit. Segmentation. According to Philip Kotler, whenever a market for a product or service consists of two or more buyers, the market is capable of being segmented, that is, divided into meaningful buyer groups. The purpose of segmentation is to determine differences among buyers which may be consequential in choosing away them or marketing to them. Segmentation is the process in which groups of individuals play an important role in determining the marketing strategy which is used. Let us discuss about uh, demographic variables. The market segmentation is done by using demographic factors individually or combinedly. These factors include statistical factors such as income, age, gender, education, occupation, marital status, family size, structure, etc. Let us have an idea about levels of market segmentation. We have niche marketing, local marketing, customize. In niche marketing, a niche or a small group of customers trying to obtain different types of benefits. Marketers recognize niches by classifying a segment into sub-segments. Niche markets are small and attract only one or two competitors. The marketers of these markets have complete knowledge about the needs of their customers. Local marketing. Local marketing is a type of target marketing in which the marketing programs are created according to the needs and wants of uh, local customer groups. It is also called as grass, uh, as a um, uh, grassroots marketing, in which the products or services are promoted by communicating its features, advantages, and linking them with the interesting uh, uh, people. 
customize. In individual marketing, the products and services are created and distributed according to the needs of the customers. Brand. A brand refers to a name, term, sign, symbol, special design, some combination of uh, these elements that is intended to identify the goods and services of one seller or a group of sellers. A brand differentiates these products from those of uh, competitors. A brand is essentially a seller's promise to consistently deliver a sp specific set of features, benefits and services to buyers. The best brands convey a warranty of quality. A brand is even more complex symbol. A brand can convey uh, different features, different attributes, uh, benefits, values, culture, personality, use, etc. A company treats a brand as a name. It misses the point of branding. The challenge in branding is to develop a deep set of meanings for the brand. When the audience can visualize the dimensions of a brand, the brand is deep, otherwise it is shallow. Co-brand. Bearing two or more well-known brand names is called co-branding. Each brand sponsor expects that the other brand name will strengthen brand preference or purchase intention. Tata BP. Tata British Petroleum, Modi Xerox. When two different companies or two different divisions of the same company place their respective brands on a specific product on agreed terms, then it is called as co-branding. Co-branding is also known as dual branding. Multi-brand. Multi-brand strategy refers to introduction of additional brands in the same category. Multi-branding offers a way to establish different features and appeal to different buying motives. It allows a company to include more reseller shelf space. It may also be used by the company to protect its major brand by setting up fighter brands. A major drawback of multi-branding is that each brand might uh, obtain only a small market share and uh, none may be very profitable. The company may end up spreading its resources over many brands instead of building a few brands to a highly profitable level. These companies should reduce the number of brands they sell in a given category and set up tighter screening procedure for new brands. Benefits of market segmentation, compatibility, optimum utilization of resources, growth of medium organizations, mass marketing, evaluation of target market segmentation. Evaluation of target market segmentation is carried out through segment size, segment growth, segment structural attractiveness, suitability, customer profitability, segmentation. Positioning. Positioning is the set of designing the company's offer so that it occupies a distinct and valued place in the minds of the target customers. Market positioning plays a vital role in the success of a product. Positioning creates a distinctive image of the product helps in creating competitive advantage, helps to differentiate the brand or product from others with specific features of the product. It highlights the product unique selling position. It helps to outline the product even in the clutter. Target market. A target market is, a defi is defined as a group of customers who share common tastes, needs and preferences that the company decides to serve. Now let us discuss the concepts at length in a detailed way. Now as we have 
got some idea about the new terms which are used in this uh, lesson. Now let us uh, focus on the questions uh, related to market segmentation and the levels for effective segmentation. Let us discuss about it. Market segmentation. Market segmentation consists of taking the total heterogeneous market for a product and dividing it into several sub-markets or segments, each of which tends to be homogeneous in full significant aspects. Segmentation is a process in which groups of individuals or organizations play an important role in determining the marketing strategy. Segmentation Different markets are classified into smaller and similar sub-markets. Main purpose of identifying group of customers with similar requirements is to serve them effectively and attain profitability. Coming to the levels of market segmentation, mass marketing, segment marketing, niche marketing, micro marketing mass marketing is a type of marketing which involves production of mass consumer goods and practicing mass distribution and promotion methods it helps in creating large potential market for selling the goods it reduces the cost incurred during various processes of production promotion and distribution of consumer goods. It has various advantages. It is hard to achieve effective mass marketing. Various factors such as different media adopt, adopted by consumer, different types of consumer needs, availability of several distribution channels affect the implementation of uh, mass marketing. Segment marketing Segment marketing refers to division of the market into wide segments based on similarities. Different marketing strategy is adopted by each segment to fulfill its needs. In this type of marketing, products or services, interactive programs, distribution channels, can be utilized to a great extent to serve the segment of consumers who need them. It enhances the profitability of the firm by focusing on the target market. Niche marketing. A niche, a small group of customers try to obtain different types of benefits. Marketers recognize niche by classifying a segment into sub-segments Niche markets are small, attract only one or two competitors. The marketers of these markets have complete knowledge about the needs of their customers. It creates customer satisfaction among its consumers in such a way that they become willing to pay high prices or premium prices for the goods. It provides an opportunity to small organizations to compete with the big organizations in the market by investing their resources in markets which, is, uh, which avoid big organizations. Micro marketing. At this level, the products or services and marketing programs are designed specifically as per the tastes and interests of particular individuals and locations, includes both local and individual marketing local marketing and individual marketing. Local marketing is a type of target marketing in which the marketing programs are created according to the needs and wants of local customer groups. Individual marketing, the products and services are created and distributed according to the needs of the uh, customers. Now let us uh, discuss about the benefits of market segmentation and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, six points uh, related to benefits of market segmentation and also let us uh, focus on the 
uh, various costs involved in the market segmentation. Benefits of market segmentation, compatibility of product, optimum utilization of resources, growth of a medium organization, mass marketing, effective use of uh, limited resources, customers uh, uh, to take uh, decisions. As market segmentation is uh, customer driven, it is compatible with the marketing concept. In market segmentation, the needs and wants of the customers in a sub-market are determined and then uh, a marketing mix is uh, designed for satisfying those wants. Optimum utilization of resources, making the use of marketing programs to individual market segments helps the firm to carry out marketing job effectively and make optimum utilization of its marketing resources. Growth of medium organizations, development of strong positions in specialized market segments helps the medium sized organizations to grow rapidly. Mass marketing, large organizations adopt market segmentation and utilize it as an effective strategy for reaching the segments of people. Effective use of limited resources, market segmentation helps the small firms with the limited resources to effectively compete in one or two small market segments. Helps customers in taking decisions. If the markets are not segmented, then the customers become frustrated as they have to make complex decisions for a simple purchase when more number of similar products are available. Costs of market segmentation. In spite of providing various benefits to the firm, market segmentation incurs certain costs. Manufacturing costs would be higher due to the shorter production cycle. Research costs would be higher due to the urge to explore new market segments. Promotion costs higher when uh, quantity media discounts are being lost. Uh, overlapping market coverage may result into uh, disassembling of products because of one product may drag the market share of some other company's product. Now let us discuss about the market segmentation, basis for market segmentation. Whenever a market for a product or service consists of two or more buyers, market is capable of being segmented. It is divided into meaningful buyer groups. Purpose of segmentation is to consequential in choosing away them or marketing to them. Basis for market segmentation. Customer based segmentation, product based segmentation, competition-based segmentation. In customer-based segmentation, we have, uh, we can subdivide it and we can discuss uh, some points uh, related to customer-based segmentation. Here, we can focus on the geographic location of consumers. Geographically based segmentation is the initial point uh, of all marketing segmentation strategies. This type of segmentation enables the firm to plan its marketing offer for rural as well as urban areas. It assumes that the individuals in a specific geographic area have same needs, preferences and consumption patterns. Psychographic variables, lifestyle and personality are the psychographic variables used in the market segmentation. Markets can be segmented based on the uh, personality, lifestyle, differences of the consumers, willingness of the buyer. There are different types of buyers at different stages of readiness or willingness at any given time such as unaware buyers, buyers who are aware but do not want to buy, the buyers who are interested and are ready to buy and finally the buyers who purchase the products positively. Demographic characteristics. The market segmentation is done by using the demographic factors individually or combinedly. These factors include statistical factors such as income, age, gender, education, occupation, marital status, family size, structure, etc. Age, it includes the age group of consumers who buy the product. 
Gender includes uh, the gender for which the product is meant to be consumed. Income, estimated income earned by potential consumers of the product. Marital status, it includes the marital status of the potential customers or consumers, whether the consumers are married or unmarried. Education, educational qualification of the consumers. Family size, number of people living within the family. Occupation includes the employment status of the consumer. Consumer is employed, unemployed, or type of occupation, etc. Product-based segmentation, the segmentation which is based upon the utility provided by a product-related um, segmentation, it is further divided into uses of product in different situations. As different customers make use of same product in various situations, the marketers seek to make the products multitasking. Knowledge about uh, these situations help the marketer to plan their positioning strategy effectively. Segmentation based on benefits. In this type of segmentation, products are segmented on the basis of the benefits which the customers uh, search while purchasing a product. Consumption. This type of segmentation is used for segmenting tea, coffee, soft drinks. Uh, uh, in consumption on the basis of uh, heavy users, moderate users, light users, etc. Decision making criteria. Decision making criteria is one of the basis for segmenting the market which a consumer uses for analyzing and purchasing a brand or a product. According to research, it was found that a consumer makes a decision on the basis of the four, uh, parameters like price, quality, service, technology, etc. Competition based segmentation. On the basis of loyalty, there are three types of segments hardcore loyals, soft core loyals, switchers. The consumers who purchase the same brand repeatedly are called hardcore loyals. For example, newspaper readers, uh, cigarette smokers, tea drinkers, coffee drinkers, etc. Soft core loyals, the consumers who are loyal towards or rely on two or three brands in a product group are known as soft core loyals. For example, purchasing two or three toothpaste by housewife like Colgate, Sensodyne, Messwalk, etc. Switchers, the consumers who are not loyal towards a particular brand or product are called as switchers. Such type of consumers uh, keep on changing their brands for buying products of different varieties. Now, let us focus on the process of market segmentation. Uh, we have eight steps uh, for market segmentation, uh, defining a problem, choosing the segmentation basis, selecting a set of uh, descriptors, choosing a sample of consumers for collecting data, uh, primary and secondary data, establishing the segments on the basis of uh, consumer uh, descriptors, creating uh, profiles of segments, convert the results into marketing uh, strategy. First one, defining a problem. Market pro segmentation may facilitate in answering uh, different queries with respect to the market segments uh, in response to the firm's uh, marketing uh, strategies like uh, price of product changes, new product offerings, advertising. Uh, activity further helps in choosing the target market segments for the firm's uh, offerings. Segmentation basis, choosing the segmentation basis. The segmentation studies are conducted by marketing practitioners with the help of any uh, two or three alternatives, prior methods, clustering method, selecting the segmentation basis. The segmentation basis uh, which are followed by marketers can be classified into two major groups, uh, general consumer characteristics, situation specific consumer characteristics. Third one, select a set of descriptors. The descriptors of a segment consists of uh, any variable like age, uh, income, gender, etc. 
the quantity of a product purchased basically depends upon various variables like age, location, gender, income, culture, social class, etc. Choosing a sample of consumers for collecting data, the basic idea of this step is to carry out the research and identify the segments on the low cost basis. Instead of collecting the data from the complete population, it is collected merely from a sample of a population. It is ascertained as to whether the segments exist within the sample or not. Using primary and secondary data. When the marketers collect the data from the sample of consumers, they may use both primary data uh, collection method and secondary data collection method. Establishing segments on the basis of uh, selected consumer descriptors. The marketer should form the segments by defining and by drawing a line between the different segments. This helps in ascertaining as to which segment uh, each sample consumer may belong. Creating profiles of segments. As soon as all the respondents are being categorized into various segments, the profiles of these segments are to be organized on the basis of the critical differentiating features. Convert the results into marketing strategy. This is the most difficult task of the segmentation project. During this stage, the marketer chooses target market groups, formulates suitable marketing mix for the selected segments on the basis of their findings related to segments expected size and profile. The segmentation study can be successful if the marketer has the capability to understand and use them as guidelines for the design, implementation, analysis of suitable marketing strategy. Now, let us discuss about the criteria for good market segmentation. We have uh, eight requirements for uh, making effective segmentation measurable, substantial, accessible, differentiable, actionable, size, identity, relevance. Measurable, the size, purchasing power, features of the market segments should be measurable. The size of teenagers who drink coffee regularly or tea regularly. Substantial, the market segments should be large and profitable for serving the customers. It must be largest homogeneous group which is adaptable with a marketing program. Accessible, the market segments should reach and serve the customers effectively. A perfume manufacturing company analyzes that their perfume is used by teenage boys who are studying graduation. The marketer cannot reach them unless he knows the consumers. Differentiable, the market segment should be identifiable. It should respond differently to the various elements of marketing mix and programs. The response of girls and boys to the sale of leather coat, they are not different segments. Actionable for attracting and serving the market segments, the market should develop effective marketing programs. Small manufacturing companies identify five different market segments, but it did not have enough number of employees to work for the different market segments. Size. A market segment needs to be of suitable size, justify the attention given to it and should generate sales that provide adequate profits. Identity, the segments having unique identity characteristics help in identifying, measuring segments potential. The producers, consumers, market research specialists identify those segments that are characterized by unique features. Making them segments effective, they need to possess noticeable and measurable features. Relevance, the segmentation should bear relevant significance with the important characteristics of the product or service. Most of the organizations design their marketing programs on basis of overall population characteristics instead of characteristics that are directly related to specific product or service. 
such characteristics are considered for segmenting the markets then organization is able to generate more revenue now let us discuss about marketing segmentation uh, based on the consumer markets with the suitable examples market segmentation consists of a total heterogeneous market for a product and dividing it into several sub markets or segments each of which tends to be homogeneous in full significant aspects basis for segmenting consumer markets we have a uh, five uh, variables which are used for segmenting consumer markets geographic segmentation demographic segmentation psychographic segmentation behavioral segmentation occasion segmentation geographic segmentation the geographic segmentation markets are classified into various geographical units like uh, region uh, city country uh, town etc the geographic segmentation is considered as uh, very very important in india because different consumers have different preferences and purchase uh, habits in different regions and states uh, across the country it is also measurable and easily accessible the mobile phone industry of india is divided into various segments depending upon uh, the types of mobiles smartphones basic phones rural areas villages people prefer basic phones they are able to use um in urban uh, cities uh, they prefer smartphones for every activity uh, therefore products demand uh, dif uh, differs from uh, area to area demographic uh, segmentation demographic segmentation is a type of segmentation in which the markets are classified into groups on the basis of variables like age family size family life cycle income gender occupation education religion race nationality social class etc the demographic basis for segmenting mobile phones in india would be young middle old age individuals young individuals prefer high class features of mobile phones middle and old age individuals prefer mobile phones which have high reliability <coughs> reliability durability and life psychographic segmentation the science in which psychology and demography are used for understanding the consumers is called psychographic segmentation in this type of segmentations buyers are classified into various groups based on the psychological or personality traits lifestyle etc the values lifestyles of the customers influence the product and brand selections made by them hence values lifestyles and personality characteristics of the consumers act as an important basis for segmenting consumer markets mobile phones can be segmented based on the psychological features of individuals personality characteristics social class etc person belong to royal family prefer high cost mobile whereas a common person will prefer the mobile which he can he or she can afford behavioral segmentation behavioral segmentation is a type of segmentation in which the buyers are classified into groups depending on the knowledge attitude uh, use and response towards a product um, benefits uh, of uh, user usage rate loyalty status buyer readiness stage and attitude mobile phones demand de demand uh, depends on behavior of the individuals some people buy mobile by seeing quality some based on price some may buy for high battery backup etc occasion segmentation occasion segmentation helps the firms to expand the usage of their products uh, in this segmentation buyers are differentiated on the basis of the occasion in which their need for buying and using the product rises mobile phone companies segmenting their products on various special occasions like diwali dashara eid etc 
Based on this type of segmentation, company launches new products to attract customers as they are ready to buy mobiles on special occasions. So with this, we complete lesson one. In lesson two, we can discuss about the basis for segmenting industrial markets. We can discuss about the business market versus consumer market, target market. We can uh, discuss about the product positioning tools, etc. Thank you very much.